All right, just want to document my feelings here. Uh, <laughs> before going surfing, we are driving to the location right now, and uh, I am nervous. We've done a lot of stunts, and this in particular gets me real nervous. Um, it's not too often we go to film a scene, and I'm genuinely kind of afraid for my life. And yeah, between the water temperature. The water temperature is sub 40 degrees. My lack of experience. Ryan has never tried it. And uh, Justin's twisted brain. If you hit a rock, you're dead. We could have some problems here, so let's see how this goes. <laughs> On this episode of Chaos and Kindness, Justin and Ryan learn a new sport in the worst of conditions. It's mid-March. The temperatures of the water have to be sub 40 degrees. I'm just gonna assume it's very dangerous. Then, they visit a teenage autistic savant named Victor to witness his incredibly rare talent. You can draw a giraffe? From nothing, he will create something. So he's all self-taught. No one taught him how to do any of this? No. So we're about to go surfing in the Merrimack River here in Manchester, New Hampshire. The water temperature, I would guess, is about 39 degrees. I mean, hell, it's the middle of March. But the only way to truly find out is to ask my good friend Jimmy Love to test it. Let's see what he thinks. Hey, Jimmy, I need you to test the water temperature for me. With my hand? No, with your feet. With my feet. Yeah, so take your shoes off. Oh, God. What the hell's going on with these things? Whoa, look at those toenails, pal. So you need to go in there and test the, no, both, both feet, both feet. One foot. Come on, bud. You got this, okay. Care for your feet for glass. There you go, bud, nice. Oh, God. Let's go this way. It's not disgusting, it's just, this is the pride of New Hampshire. This is the pride of New Hampshire. This is the Merrimack River. As nice as the Serengeti, come here. Let me know if you think it feels cold. Get in there pretty good. Stand there, go a little, a little further in, bud. A little further in. Ah, uh, uh, it's cold! How, stay there for a minute. How cold? Very cold. Like, too cold? Yes! Uh. You don't look like it's cold. You look like you're totally fine. I'm freezing. What? Uh, I don't like this, nope. You're done? I'm done. That's the end? Yes, my feet are like But I'm going in with my whole body. I know, my feet are frozen. Hey, listen. I want you to go surfing with me. No. Yeah. No. You and me, baby. Rock, paper, scissors. If I win, you go. No, no, One, no, no, two, no, no, three. No. One, two, three. Who won? Me. What? I'm not going. Huh? I'm not going. Paper versus scissors. Oh, you got a rock? Yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh. I thought it was a paper. <laughs> did, you Not did you cheat? No. Did you cheat? <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be something else. Uh, I just have a lot of concerns, to be honest. The water's cold, the air is cold. There was ice chunks floating down this river just a couple days ago. These are like not just normal surfboards, they're gas powered. They have a two-stroke motor in it. And guys, if you know a two-stroke motor, you know the power these things have. They're heavy. They're like $13,000 each. They just seem way more dangerous. And uh, the part of the river that we're entering from seems possibly the most concerning. The difference is I had a chance to learn how to use these in the warm, sunny waters of the Australian coast. And Ryan is stuck learning on the Merrimack River, mid-March, sub 40 degree water, and if you fall, you're done. I know nothing about what I'm about to do. I don't even know how to put a wetsuit on. Dude, I don't know which arm is what. I don't know what's inside, what's outside. This is the inside. Does this look great? It wasn't inside out. It was correct. Oh, I'm just gonna. Does it zip in the back or the front? Nobody zips the front of wetsuits. I don't know how long I have once I hit the water. I don't know what that process is like. I don't know how cold my head's gonna be. I just don't know. I just don't know anything. That's the problem. I have brought whatever I could think of to try and protect my body. I've got this wetsuit, I have this hat, and I even brought a bathing suit just for a little bit of extra padding. So I'm hoping that stuff keeps me safe. A couple things. This is gonna go on your 
right wrist. There's two ways to start this. Number one, you touch this real quick. Take it away. That just turned it on. Okay? Then when you put it in, you can have three, the start button is putting this in. Once you put this in, you have three seconds and it's going. Watch. What do you mean? You're in, look, here's the throttle. This is not gonna be good. So if you fall off this thing, when you fall off, this will pull it out. Okay. This will naturally come off because you're holding this throttle. When I put it in there, what does it do? Does it move the surfboard? Immediately. The surfboard starts going? Yes. So we're gonna walk out into the water, okay. up to our knees, and you're gonna start by laying on it like you would a kneeboard. And as soon as you put it in, three, two, one. And you start going. Once you get up, you wanna to get to your knees, you hold the throttle. Your first foot you wanna put in is your back foot. You gotta get the back foot in, put your front foot here, and then slowly put your left foot into here. I should maybe go first. Yeah. And demonstrate. Okay. Justin makes it sound like we're out for a fun little surf together when he has ridden these surfboards in Australia. He's actually like good at them. He's up. First try, he's up. And I have never done this, nor have I even seen what they look like. I'm the man, baby! Ryan, you ready for this? I think so. Okay, so let's use the same one because it's already warmed up. Okay. This will be interesting. We'll see how it goes. Come on, bud. Come on, babe. You can do it. Stand up. Oh, no. Oh, no. Where's he going? Why is he so far away? Why is, why is he not turning? What is happening? Ryan, stand up. Yeah, get up. Oh, he's going down. For sure, he's going to fall down. Oh, no. No, no, no. Don't sink. Oh, he's back. He's back. Oh, he's up. Oh, no. He's up. Do not hit the bridge. No, no, where's he going? Why is he going to the shore? <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh no. Oh, no, 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 oh, no. Coming up after the break. I'm in a dangerous situation. I really hope to not wipe out. Oh no. Hopefully he can get back up. Then they witnessed the incredible talent of an autistic savant named Victor. So he's all self-taught. No one taught him how to do any of this? No. Pretty dumb stunts in our lives. This one's right up there with them all. I had nothing to do with this. Do not hit the bridge. I was told we were going to go surfing, and I was not aware that it was going to be like today. Where's he going? In March. Why is he going to the shore? The water temperature is not ideal. Oh no! Come on, Betty. You got this. Oh, here he goes. I really hope to not wipe out. And if you fall, you're done. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Woo! Oh no, bud! Ryan just ate it face first. It's like an ice cream headache. Hopefully he can get back up. He's swimming. Cool, bro. Well, I had a couple nice little falls, but I think I'm a quick learner. I'm very, very relieved that I'm still here on planet Earth. That could have gone way worse. Even though I started out a little rough, I finally, after a while, got the hang of it. I was able to get up, have some fun, kick some butt, and uh, now I'm ready to go sit by the fire and drink some hot cocoa. Signing off.
Today, we're here in Miami, Florida, where we get the opportunity to meet this amazing young man named Victor. We first learned about Victor about a year ago. He's this incredible artist who has autism. He's a savant, he's nonverbal, and he loves to draw. And not just anything, the most beautiful animals you've ever seen. A special young boy from Adventura is taking the art world by storm. 14-year-old Victor was diagnosed with autism at age 5. His creations getting millions of likes as his social media following just keeps growing. In just months, he has accumulated millions of followers on TikTok and Instagram. Even though he's non-verbal, just look, his art speaks in loud and colorful ways. He sees colors much different from other people. And nobody understands how he does it. His artwork has now been selling to buy all over the world. It's truly astounding. So today we get to meet him for the very first time and his family. Let's go take a look. <laughs> how are you? <laughs> uh, how are you this time? Nice to meet you. <laughs> Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm Justin. Hello. All right. Action. Okay. Okay. What's your name? Coming up after the break. Say cheese. Victor demonstrates his incredible gift of art. From nothing, he will create something. What I'm amazed at is how he can color in the lines when he's not even looking. I'm Justin. Try again. Justin. Yeah. Hey, welcome. Welcome. Hey. How are you? How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> How are you, Victor? <laughs> okay, come on, sit, sit with us. You can, you can watch it. Huh? Oh, it's the mat. Okay, you can watch this. Go, yeah. sit there. <laughs> At the snow. Wooly and the snow. You watching some cartoons? He likes cartoons? Yeah. Uh, and he uses the headphones for sensory? Uh, mostly for noise. For noise. Yeah. He doesn't like a lot of noise? No. What age did you realize that he had autism? Young age? Two, three. Yeah. So, uh, like I, I said, he's in everything he's self-taught. So he taught himself to read, to, to ride, to swim, to ride a bicycle. But actually, we don't know what he know because he's, like I said, nonverbal. Right. So, so we never know if he has some issues, if, he, if he's sick or he needs something. It's very difficult to... Yeah. He goes to school every day? Uh, he goes to private school. Every day? Yeah. And is it a school that is specific for autism? Yes, it is, yes. <gasps> and where is he on the spectrum? Pretty severe autism? Yes. What's your favorite color, Victor? Victor! What's your favorite color? A shirt. <laughs> so you like blue? A blue! Yeah? Yeah. Are you good at drawing? Drawing? Is he really good at drawing? <laughs> yeah, he's pretty good. <laughs> yeah? Would you like to draw something for us? Yeah. What are you doing today? I'll just... <laughs> 
Ah. Want to do a giraffe? Yeah. You could draw a giraffe. They have long necks. Neck. Long necks. Long neck. Long necks for the giraffe. Long neck, good giraffe. Yeah. Yeah. What's his favorite thing to draw? A giraffe. Oh, this is where you draw the giraffe. <laughs> <laughs> he just goes. He's, he's just going. Vicky, it's okay. He's a little bit upset. If you look closely, he's got like all these details like perfect. You see like up here, up there, here. all day long. Like you can draw, watch okay. a video, and then Sparky watch another color. video on color. the side. Like watch color. two videos at one time and like draw this at the same time. And then like when he draws, he sees like the video is like not where he wants it to be, so he skips one, skips another one. He could just do that for like the whole day if he's not disturbed. So I think like we're like very really impressed by it. Does he ever draw without the phone? No. no. Tiger, tiger. <laughs> Such a unique brain. Tiger. From nothing, he will create something amazing. It's really crazy over here. Look, if you look closely, look real close at this. The exact shape. There's so much detail. Like, here there's two inlets. Here there's two inlets. What I'm amazed at is how he can color in the lines when he's not even looking. These are designs that uh, Victor did for us. This was his first design he did for us. Do you remember doing this, Victor? Do you remember this? Of course, he did this beautiful one we did on a hoodie of uh, Eddie and Dave. It actually looks like them. Come on here. Oh yeah, look. Puppy love. Hear him? Puppy love. There's puppy love. <laughs> puppy love, right? Victor, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Take care, okay? Take care, okay. Okay. Can I have a hug? Hug. 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 <laughs> oh, and a kiss. Thank you, bud. Thank you for the kiss. Thank you for the kiss. Okay. We'll see you. <laughs>
Bye, bye. Is this a tiger? Or is this a giraffe? I'd say giraffe. It's a giraffe? Say cheese. Say cheese. Say hi, Victor. Say hi, Victor. <laughs> Do this one. Look, Victor, go like this. Say cheese. Victor, go like this. Go like this. No, Victor, go brrr. <laughs> brrr. Brrr. <laughs> Can you do this one? Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> How about this one? Ah. Ah. This one. <laughs> go like this. <laughs> the good thing is what I have going for me is balance. I have good balance. 